Welcome back to Casper Branch Goat Farm. We're in the week two, I think almost three, of using the electric net wire fencing for keeping our goats in. It is working perfect. None of them have gotten out of this fence. It carries plenty of charge from the start to the end, all 328 foot of it. They don't try to jump it. We had one try to go through it and she decided not to and nobody else has tried. Along with this, well, it's working. This is ordered off Amazon. I don't remember the name of it. If you want to know, it's the green stuff off Amazon. Along with that, we tried, had the idea of the safety fencing. Just to use it to divide the paddocks. We're going to use the electric hot wire as the perimeter fencing. Even if when we put up permanent fencing, just to deter predators. But we got the safety fencing. We got like a 250 foot roll for under a hundred dollars, and uh, put it up. And uh, once we put it up, it had nearly I had to be strung up at the top. So we just took some small cable I had, and the other one I think we used some poly wire at the top. And then they started noticing it wasn't wasn't uh it was kind of curling under in spots. And uh, so we got some of those little old uh, U stakes at the Walmart and the Garden Center to hold down some kind of edging or something. It's like five or six dollars for 40, 50 of them. Put that down, and they were still trying to keep them from getting it up, but they were still trying. So then we come in here with one poly wire, poly rope, like that at the bottom. Once hooked up to a Gallagher S10, I bought at an auction for $25. And it is keeping the, all the girls in, all 20 goats, with just this plastic safety fencing, wire at the top to keep it taut at the top. You'll notice, we, like on this uneven terrain, we had to put a piece of PVC on that one to kind of raise it up so it wasn't curling under and staying up. But just step in post and poly wire and... 250 fence, 250 foot of fencing for under a hundred dollars, and it's working. Or we're into week three of our rotational grazing; it's still doing good. Uh, we'll have to touch some more on that. We've had some technical difficulties with the equipment, but we got that straightened out. So, I guess that's it for the day. For today.